you remember Bubble Boys? Mm -hmm. They don't exist anymore, right? You never hear of them anymore. They don't. Not in the United States. And the reason for it is because a man named Friedman down at the University of California at San Diego and his colleagues came up with a technique. They discovered that it's a gene deficiency, this this uh, immune deficiency at birth. It, for, for those who don't know, a bubble boy was a kid who has no immune system whatsoever at birth. And they raised some of them literally in a plastic bubble. They kept them separated from the outside world so they couldn't get infected. Of course, that makes for a very strange life, and I guess they did a movie about one, a boy where he finally died at age 18 or something. But he had essentially never been touched by a human being in most of his life, except through a plastic barrier. You don't hear those anymore. That turns out to be a gene deficiency, and they had developed a technique whereby you take a, a, a virus, you infect it with that gene. Hmm. Now you take that gene, that, that gene-carrying virus, and inject it into a human being. It goes in and infects him and infects the bone marrow, and the bone marrow now starts producing non-defective uh, blood cells. And what do you know? No more bubble. Wow. Blood. I had no idea. And there are about 40 kids alive, uh, of whom some 32 are still alive, having been treated by this, and are just normal children. You, you don't know that they were born to be bubble boys.